Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now I filmed one of these videos back in the summer. I think it might have been like May, June time. And you guys seem to really enjoy it. So I figured we may as well make this a seasonal thing. So today I am back once more with my top 10 wardrobe staples, but this time it's for autumn. <laughs> Wardrobe staple number one. You guys will have heard me mention these. I, I can't even count the number of times. It is the M&S cashmere jumper. Now I just need to say it doesn't have to be Marks and Spencers, but this is just my personal favorite, if you will. Now these jumpers, as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five. These jumpers act as my autumn substitute to a basic t-shirt. So these are now what I will wear instead of a basic t-shirt under blazers or a trench coat or even just out and about, I might just wear the cashmere jumper on its own if it's a little bit more of a warmer day. So for me, these are just a really good basic to have. And this particular one from the autograph range at Marks and Sparks is 79 pounds. So it's quite affordable. If you were going to buy new, of course you guys would have seen that I bought my grey one secondhand. I got that for just under £40, so I saved myself £40 on that. So of course it's always worth having a look to see if you can find them secondhand. Because this one was brand new with the tags on, so it wasn't even worn. Winning. Now I just want to add one little tip for knitwear. Cashmere in particular, because all cashmere will bubble at some point regardless of where it's from. That is just the nature of the fibre. And with friction in certain areas, it will bubble more. So get yourself a debobbleizer. I featured this or I spoke about this, if you will, in my wardrobe changeover, which you guys would have seen recently. They're super cheap, you can pick them up off Amazon. They work off batteries, there you go. And they just work a treat at getting all the bobbles off your cashmere knits and any other kind of knits as well. They just help them look a little bit fresher for longer. <laughs> Autumn staple number two is a trench coat. Now, this one is vintage Burberry because I didn't want to buy a new Burberry one and this cost me 75 pounds, 75 pounds. So if lots of you are thinking, I can't afford a Burberry trench coat, yes you can because a lot of trench coats, even from the high street, if we're talking Topshop, even M&S, uh, maybe not end other stories, they're probably a little bit more expensive, but then again, that goes to show you're better off buying secondhand or vintage. And for me, it just integrates perfectly. It's great for wearing over those cashmere sweaters. You can dress them up. So if you worked in an office environment, these look amazing over your office wear, a pair of tailored trousers or a pencil skirt, court shoes, loafers. You can wear them casually with jeans and with trainers. They literally work for everything and they're just super practical for this time of year as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be in this kind of beigey tan colour if that's not your thing. By all means you can go for any other colour, navy, black or if you wanted to be a bit more bold, you wanted to go for a bright colour, there are plenty of options out there. Now if Burberry perhaps isn't quite your thing, if you don't like the whole bold plaid design on the lining, then I've got a high street alternative here. This one's actually a car coat but it's a very simple, quite basic, classic piece. This one's a little bit darker, more of like a tan shade, but again, this neutral color goes perfectly with all of these staples that I have here. <laughs> Staple number three is jeans. You all know that I am a massive denim lover, so jeans are a staple throughout my wardrobe at any time of year, any season, whatever the weather, jeans, yes, always. Now, if I'm going to be specific about shape, I personally would opt for a straight leg. I have skinnies in my wardrobe as well, but my personal preference would be a straight leg pair of jeans. They're the kind of jeans that you can wear with anything, trainers, loafers, heels, you can wear them over ankle boots, you can roll them up so that you show a little bit more of the boot. The only exception is that you can't wear over the knee or knee high boots with straight leg jeans. I mean, I'm saying you can't, there's no rule. I just personally think it looks a bit weird because you've got all that excess fabric and it's just, no, no. Now this particular pair of jeans I bought a few weeks ago from the H&M Premium Collection. 
I love the premium collection at H&M. I just think they do really good denim, among other things. They have excellent cashmere and wool as well. But their denim is stiff and I like that. Admittedly, the sizing is a little bit off. These actually come up really small, so I've had to go for a waist 30 in these, but I do love them. They're an excellent pair of jeans, really good length, especially for me, I have very long legs. You can roll them up, they're just a nice shape, and I actually really like this wash as well. I have another pair on. These are actually by Arquette. These are called the regular jeans, and if I had to pick one high street brand for jeans, it would definitely be Arquette because their denim is incredible. A Little bit more of a premium price tag for the high street, but definitely worth it because they will last you so much longer. They're the sort of denim that doesn't stretch out, which is never a good thing. If I have a pair of jeans that starts to stretch out, I immediately don't want them in my wardrobe anymore. I want items that are going to last me, that I can wear and wash and wear and wash time and time again. But if perhaps you've already got like a bluey shade of jeans, I would definitely recommend getting either a black or like these, these are a washed pair. These ones are the 724 High Rise Straight from Levi's. And again, another really good pair of jeans. <laughs> Wardrobe staple number four is ankle boots. Of course, autumn is the start of boot season. And it's the time of year where I think you can get away, you know, with a Chelsea boot, depending on where you live in the world. But it's the time of year where you can get away with the Chelsea boot kind of vibe. You don't necessarily need to go into the harsh, cold weather boots. So you can do something a little bit more stylish. So if you watched my recent boot video, then you'll recognize these. These are my trusty Saint Laurent Chelsea boots. I've had these now for four years. They are definitely an autumn and even a winter staple of mine. They're classic. And I think actually a Chelsea boot is a really good way to go. If you wanna know my top five boots for the autumn season, then you can head over and watch that video if you haven't already, because that just gives you a little bit more in-depth info on boots and sort of how you can wear them, how you can style them with what jeans, etc., etc. But for me, they're just a really good staple to have. They're the kind of thing which you can wear with jeans or you can wear them with tailored trousers. And they're the sort of footwear that I tend to reach for on a daily basis during the autumn months. If perhaps you've already got a pair of black leather ankle boots and you just wanna add another pair for a bit more variation and to mix up your outfits a bit, I could definitely recommend going for a neutral shade. So I have these, which again were featured in that same boot video. These are like a tan suede from Saint Laurent. And then these, which actually come in a very similar color to this as well. So if Saint Laurent is just out of your budget or perhaps you just don't like these, these ones do come in a similar color. These are from Mango, so much more affordable. <laughs> Now my next staple is of course a blazer because it wouldn't be an Emma Hill video without mention of a blazer. It's what I'm most known for. A blazer or two. Now blazers, as with most things in my wardrobe, are the kind of thing that you can dress up, you can dress them down. So even if you're wearing something super casual like a pair of jeans and trainers or jeans and loafers, if you add that little touch of tailoring, which I would usually opt for a blazer, it can just elevate your look. And actually it's one of my fashion rules. Well, it's not so much a rule, it's more of like a, a motto, is to add one piece of tailoring to any one of my looks. So if you're wearing perhaps a slouchy jumper, you could add in a pair of tailored trousers, which we'll get to in a moment. Or if you're wearing jeans, and as I said, trainers, add in a blazer, whether it's over a cashmere sweater, or if it's over a basic t-shirt or whatever, or a shirt even. It's just a really versatile piece. It's something that you can wear and team with just about anything. Denim, trainers, loafers, smarter sort of workwear if you have to look a little bit more put together at work. You can wear it over slip skirts, slip dresses. Honestly, the options are endless. And I just think that a blazer is an absolute must have. And it's also not the kind of staple that will just last you one season. It is very much one of those staples which I have all year round. <laughs> Wardrobe staple number six is a pair of tailored trousers. Now I know I said I live my life mainly in jeans, and I do, but if I was gonna wear something different, because admittedly guys, I don't wear dresses or skirts in the autumn time, it's just 
not really my thing. So to mix things up a little bit, I would go for some tailored trousers. Now I do have a couple of pairs in my wardrobe. I have black, of course, and I have navy, of course, because I love my darker shades. I wouldn't normally tend to go for something in a lighter colour like a beige because I feel like they're kind of spring summer territory. So I like to go for a nice tailored pair of wool trousers. Now in terms of styling tailored trousers, you're not at all limited to the whole workwear vibe. It doesn't always have to look like workwear. You can make them casual as well. So you can pair them with some trainers, maybe something like what I've got on, a big slouchy, cozy, oversized knit, and it just looks normcore cool. <laughs> Moving on to my seventh staple, of which I'm actually trying to cheat and fit in two staples into one category because I technically have 11 staples. So yeah, so we've got flats, trainers, and loafers. So a pair of nice crisp, either just fully white or either black and white trainers are a good option. As you all know, I am a big, big, big Veja fan. These are the uh, black and white, V10s, I love them. Now you'll have heard me already reference trainers when speaking about all these other staples and that's kind of the idea. All of these staples work well together. So whether it's the tailored trousers, the denim, the trench coat, they all work together. And that's kind of, it's not a capsule wardrobe but it's kind of running along those lines. Now, loafers. These are my beloved Gucci Brixton loafers. I love them so much. They are the best loafers and I know they're so expensive. There are lots of high street dupes out there which I'll link down below in the description box. But if you have the money or if you can save for these bad boys, they will last you years and years and years and years. They're such a good staple. Now in terms of styling, versatility again is their number one selling point along with of course comfort for work where they're going to be great and they're not the sort of shoe that you're going to have to take off if you've got a bit of a walk on your commute because they are super comfortable and then just for your kind of off-duty looks they work really well with jeans you can do straight legs you can do skinnies you can do mum jeans whatever jeans you like and loafers are very much the blazers of the footwear world so they immediately elevate and lift an outfit even if you're wearing them with a pair of jeans <laughs> Staple number eight is the scarf because autumn is the time where you can whip out the scarves and as I've done with many items on my rail I've got a bit of a double up situation here because I found something that I really really like so this is the Acne Canada scarf now these are the wool ones the Acne Canada scarves also come in cashmere they're considerably more expensive by a few hundred pounds these are 140 each and I just think that they're incredible quality they're really nice wool I don't find that they itch I don't feel any itching around my neck and they're nice and big. It's a big blanket scarf, the kind that you can get really cozy in. <laughs> Wardrobe staple number eight is basically just another top option. So I've got a little mustardy one here, which has got a very sort of ditzy floral print. And then this black one, which I feel like has got quite Saint Laurent vibes to it. It's got a little daisy print on and of course, it's black, so naturally I would love it. Both of these are by a brand called Equipment, who I feel like they specialize in making really nice quality shirts. Um, they are a little bit expensive, but you can find them secondhand for a really decent price. Now these would be the sort of thing that I would probably wear if I were going to a bar, if I were going out to dinner somewhere, if I had to be slightly dressier than what I usually am. I hate getting super dressed up, it's not my vibe at all, and it doesn't make me feel comfortable. But if I were gonna go out to a bar or to dinner, I would wear a really good fitting pair probably dark jeans, either black or a really dark blue. And then I would wear a shirt like this with a lacy bra underneath, probably unbuttoned to just so to give a flash of said bra. And then I would tuck them in, maybe with a belt and then either with some heeled court shoes or something like a heeled ankle boot. And that for me would be my slightly dressier option. But again, these shirts are really versatile. They're not limited to more of an evening style. You can wear them with trainers and jeans. 
I recently wore this one with a pair of high top Converse and some skinny black jeans and a blazer. And I actually really liked that look. I thought it worked quite well. The print on the shirt just added a little bit of detail to the look that was otherwise quite basic. <laughs> My final wardrobe staple is another coat and it's just basically it doesn't have to be leather by the way guys so don't look at a leather coat and think I cannot pull off a leather coat I'm sure you probably can it's just another coat option that's not a winter coat leather is already emerging to be a massive massive trend for this season now obviously it doesn't have to be real leather it can of course be faux leather if you're a vegan or if you just don't like wearing leather there are lots of brands out there now who are finding more sustainable ways to manufacture faux leather now mine is obviously real leather because I'm not a vegan but this I actually bought secondhand which again some of you might recognize from my secondhand haul and this was super affordable I think this one was one of my more expensive secondhand leather purchases this was 45 if I remember correctly so for coats like this if you're specifically looking for something leather then I would definitely look secondhand get yourself on eBay and Depop and get browsing all them pages right guys that is it from me here are my 10 slash 11 <laughs> wardrobe staples for the autumn months anything featured in today's video is of course listed as always down in the description box below along with any affordable alternatives and even some of my secondhand searches for things like this thank you very much for watching and i am gonna see you guys on sunday for a video which i'm really excited to share with you guys because i really like it so me and Debs went charity shop shopping. It's the first time I've ever gone charity shop shopping and I can't wait to share that with you guys. So I will see you back here on Sunday.